When it comes to the dissolution of a marriage, there is no more important aspect than caring for the children's well-being. Even though a marriage is irreparable, the emotional and physical safety of the children will continue to be that couple's responsibility post-divorce and must be a paramount consideration in any divorce case. Unfortunately, child custody disputes often arise during these raw and emotionally charged moments. Having the insight and the skillful negotiation experience of a New York child custody lawyer is one of the most important things you can do for yourself during a In New York, laws are set up to protect the best interest of the child. Child custody lawyers and the courts will take a close look at the physical, emotional, and financial family dynamics in order to ensure that the children are best served in any custody determination. When deciding child custody, the court will consider many factors. Where is the child currently residing and for how long? What is the environment like in each parent's home? What is the mental, emotional, physical, and financial status for each parent? What are the parents' work schedules? Which parent is better able to provide housing, food, medical attention, and education for the child? Which parent has better parenting skills? Is there a history of domestic abuse in the family? Is there a history of substance abuse for either parent? Are there any existing custody orders in place? How do New York state laws determine child custody? In New York custody disputes, the courts will always attempt to rule in favor of what they determine to be in the best interests of the child. But what does this really mean? The best interest of the child is an important legal standard that family law considers when making any custody and visitation determinations. What is the best interest of the child in family law? A child custody determination is an agreement between parties as to how they will make decisions about their children's care and living arrangements. There are two basic types of child custody. Sole custody is a custody arrangement that allows one parent to make decisions about the children. Although the other parent, otherwise known as the non-custodial parent, may have the right to weigh in, the custodial parent has the ultimate decision-making rights. Joint child custody is one where both parents and sometimes other caregivers share the decision-making authority with regard to the children. Joint custody requires that parents communicate effectively in order to consider what is best for the child. Types of child custody in New York City a child custody determination is an agreement between parties as to how they will make decisions about their children's care and living arrangements. There are two basic types of child custody. Sole custody is a custody arrangement that allows one parent to make decisions about the children. Although the other parent, otherwise known as the non-custodial parent, may have the right to weigh in, the custodial parent has the ultimate decision-making rights. Joint child custody is one where both parents and sometimes other caregivers share the decision-making authority with regard to the children. Joint custody requires that parents communicate effectively in order to consider what is best for the child. Sole custody Sole legal child custody is where one parent has the right to make primary decisions concerning the children after a divorce. 
In the case of sole custody, the custodial parent makes decisions about important aspects of the children's lives such as their health and safety, medical care, religious instruction, and education. When the court is asked to make a determination regarding sole custody, it will look at several factors such as income, commitment, and ability to spend time with the child. Joint custody. Joint legal custody is when both parents share the responsibility of making important decisions with regard to the health and welfare of their children in a cooperative way. The court will want to see that parents are able to put their personal differences aside in order to make the right decisions for their children. Physical or legal custody Physical custody Most couples are familiar with physical custody which determines where a child will legally reside. In the case of sole physical custody, the child will reside with one parent. In the case of joint physical custody, the child moves between parents. Joint physical custody may not always involve a 50% split of time. In many cases, the children will move between parents in ways that are most convenient to both parents. The custody agreement will spell out specific details about how this time will be shared. Legal custody Legal custody determines which parents will make the major decisions affecting the life and welfare of the children. Sole legal custody provides that this decision-making responsibility falls on the custodial parent whereas joint legal custody requires that both parents share in the decision-making processes for the benefit of the children. It's important for parents to understand that this is a legally binding agreement and the courts take it seriously. If one parent is preventing the other from taking part in these decisions under a joint legal custody arrangement, that parent can be held in contempt. Temporary custody The court may decide to award the physical custody of a child to one parent pending the resolution of a final determination or in the case of a legal separation by the parents in anticipation of a divorce. The other parent, non-custodial parent, will be given visitation rights under the temporary custody order. Visitation, parenting time. The term visitation refers to that time given to the non-custodial parent to spend time with his or her children. The terms of visitation will be set out with a visitation schedule that specifies dates, times, and location parameters of when and where that parent is able to see the child. Both parents are subject to the custody and visitation schedule and legally must abide by it. Failing to do so can have serious consequences. In the case where the court believes that it is necessary for the child's safety and well-being, the court may require supervised visitation. Emergency Application for Custody Most custody concerns are dealt with through the normal hearing process which may take a certain amount of time. But there are times when one parent is concerned that the child is in imminent risk of being harmed or removed from the state. An emergency order, or ex parte order, is a temporary custody order that is initiated by that parent. A true emergency will then be streamlined in order to protect the safety of the child. 